We're gonna go back here and there's gonna be robots that are gonna be moving. We're gonna have stuff moving and showing you guys that stuff. We are an industrial robotics integrator. What we do is integrate industrial robotic arms into manufacturing processes. It's so awesome that you guys are learning already how to code. So Oscar, what he does is all day he codes. It's not often you can watch a robot make shoes, so it was definitely a unique experience for them. It's always exciting when you see the youth already learning to code. At House of Design, we want to help you develop the skills necessary to start and continue your career in the robotics industry. It's gonna do those welds with a robot. Cool, huh? All you guys are good at math? Tony, are you good at math? Not as good as these guys at that. <laughs> I was surprised to see the uh, number of young girls in the class that came and visited us. Traditionally, it's not that common to see as many females interested in engineering. I've been an adjunct faculty at Boise State, and in the classes that I was uh, instructing in, it was always about less than 10% enrollment, females to males in the classes that I had. you met Callie now, right? How many other girls do you see in the room? Not including the teachers. Yeah. <laughs> Not including the teachers. The How many girl working. engineers do you see in my room? She's the only one. And you know what I would really, really, really like to have? There's more girl engineers in here. When you guys start growing up, you start thinking that you can be an engineer too, all right? We have the perfect class for girls. Yes. <laughs> That's right. We were really excited to be able to see the youth and their excitement in technology, engineering, and math. Uh, these skills that they're learning are going to lead to great careers in the robotics industry. It takes a lot of studying and making sure that we know how to code, do engineering, do math. Who in here programs? Raise your hand. As a kid, I used to tinker around with a lot of things. Used to. Whatever I could find, if my parents were throwing something out, I'd take stuff apart, I'd put stuff back together, see if I could make it work. I played with a lot of Legos, uh, little toys and things of that nature that, that really helped me develop the skills that, that were required as an engineer. My dad was an engineer. I knew pretty early on that that was the sort of thing that I wanted to get involved with. Each of us comes from a different place and has ideas of, oh, you know what, I've seen something like that before, and here's where I've seen it, and here's how it'll work. and just you know, drawing it out, explaining it. So one thing that's been critical for us is being able to communicate our ideas. Um, being able to, to take what's in our head and say to somebody else, hey, here's what I envision. And they say, you know what? I've got an idea that's like that, but I'm gonna change it like this and make it all better. To become an engineer, it's a whole mindset. It's a mindset of trying to say, I enjoy figuring out problems. I like to think through things in a certain way, and then getting the education required, the tools needed to be able to solve real world problems in that way. As far as the skills required to be able to do what we do at House of Design, I've really tried to make it a point to seek and learn as much as I can about a wide variety of different things. So I get my hands into the mechanical design, into the programming, and all that has come as a result of trying to take on projects that will develop those skills. North America has been experiencing exponential growth, with an estimated 250,000 robots now in use in the United States there has never been a better time to become a robotic engineer. Make sure to stay updated and like our page at facebook.com slash hodrobotics.